The Tapiropo, Kaido's strongest headliners. In a crew following a system of meritocracy, who is the strongest of the pack? Hello, my Nakamatachi, this is Joy Girl, and today we are going to be discussing the Tapiropo in light of recent reveals of everyone's Zou and Devil Fruits and what this could implicate in terms of their rankings by strength. Before we begin, to anyone who is an anime-only fan, please note that much of this video is premised on some pretty large reveals from chapter 998, so please feel free to watch some of my other videos and come back to this one when you catch up. For everyone else, this is something I have touched on briefly throughout some of my chapter reviews, but didn't discuss at length in a specialized video considering how relatively recently we've been introduced to this group within the Beast Pirates, and thus, the limited amount of information we have on them. But since their Devil Fruit reveals in chapter 998, I thought this would be a fun discussion to have. As we can also then postulate on the upcoming matchups between the Straw Hats and the Beast Pirates based on the relative strength of the Toby Ropper members. And with that being said, let's start ranking. At the bottom of the list, in terms of the weakest of the Toby Ropo, I would place Page 1. Page 1 is the youngest of the Toby Ropo at only 20 years old which causes me to think that he may be less seasoned than the others. Aside from being the youngest, Page 1 is also the shortest of the group at 171cm, but ironically he has the ancient Zoan Devil Fruit, the Ryuryu Domi Model Spinosaurus. In which case, he may very well be the largest in his Zoan form, as in real life, the Spinosaurus is said to have been the largest carnivorous dinosaur, which does somewhat suggest his threat. But size isn't necessarily everything when it comes to strength, because of what we know, the Spinosaurus were semi-aquatic creatures, meaning they partially lived on land, similarly to the modern crocodile. Meaning that they were likely to survive by eating fish, though also able to prey on terrestrial life. However, their teeth aren't considered suited to prey on particularly large game, and though they were indeed very large, their bones aren't as dense as, say, the T-Rex, suggesting that they as a species were less durable. And we could apply this to what we have seen so far in the series. On one hand, ultimately as a dinosaur, Page 1 is indeed strong and durable. In particular, his jaws and tail were portrayed to be especially strong, using his mouth and tail to smash apart entire buildings and cause massive wrecks whilst he was in his full beast form. On the other hand, when hit with Luffy's elephant gun on his lower jaw, Page 1 commented that his jaws had almost loosened up a little as a result and that it hurt pretty bad. Which of course may be a testament to the strength of Luffy's elephant gun, which was also hardened with armament Haki to be fair, but seeing as Page 1's jaw had been portrayed to be one of his strongest or at least his most utilized body part, the effect of Luffy's attack seems to suggest the limit to his durability. This is especially in comparison to his sister Ulti, who also faced Luffy's infused armament Haki when the two literally butt heads. But the older sister did not seem to be as affected as Page 1, but more on Ulti later. The most we've seen of Page 1 in action has been against the Straw Hat's very own Sanji, who is definitely a formidable fighter and to be fair, was also in his raid suit. In his hybrid form, Page 1 was strong enough to overpower Sanji's classic kick and send the cook crashing through buildings. And yet, Sanji is in no way the strongest of opponents, and even after Page 1's attack, Sanji was able to recover, launching another attack as well as escaping from this Tobi Roppo. Adding to his list of Straw Hat's opponents, Page 1 and Ulti are currently in pursuit of Nami and Usopp. And if Oda continues with this matchup, even though the Tobi Roppo siblings are definitely dominating the battle so far, which is likely to continue, such a setup against two of the weakest of the Straw Hats seems to present Page 1 to also be one of, if not the weakest, of the Tobi Roppo. Furthermore, Page 1's interactions with the other Beast Pirates seems to suggest this position within the group. Perhaps because of his young age, Page 1 is often picked on by the other Tobi Roppo, such as when Sasaki dismissed the youngster from being a serious candidate to become one of the next calamities, and this is the same by King who doesn't include Page 1 when he notes that Who's Who and Sasaki have been eyeing his position. This is despite the fact that after the challenge for one of the calamities positions is established, Page 1 takes it very seriously. Similarly, he commits himself to carrying out any orders from his superiors and seems to show respect to those higher in the Beast Pirates hierarchy, such as King, despite some of the other Tobiropo's open dislike and challenge of the All-Star. In that light, 
Page 1's commitment and interactions could be indicative of the effort he puts in due to his need to prove himself because of his position and age. Of course, age doesn't have to imply weakness. The main character of One Piece, after all, is younger than Page 1 and arguably stronger. In this case, however, it does seem to suggest his inexperience and add to his meek personality when he interacts with those in higher positions or the other Tobiropo, unless, of course, he's talking to his sister. Which brings us to Ulti. I would actually maybe even consider placing Ulti higher on this list, but for now, her seeming Straw Hat's opponents being Nami and Usopp, whom she shares with her brother like I mentioned before, this is what leads me to think that Ulti is next on the ranking when discussing the Tobiropo's strength. Aside from this, however, what we have been shown of Ulti is very impressive. And whilst how she fares against some of the other Tobiropo may be unclear, Oda has certainly built her up to be more than her younger brother. For starters, in contrast to her respectful brother, Ulti is almost rude, brash and somewhat fearless in her attitude. Whether that be she interacts with strangers like Luffy, or with her governor general Kaido himself. This attitude may just be her quirky personality, but also suggests her fearlessness in acting in such a manner, which leads one to assume that it must spring from her confidence in her own strength. But aside from these inferences, Ulti has also shown her strength and fierceness. Having the Pachycephalosaurus model of the Ryuryu no Mi, she is extremely durable as shown when she recovered quickly after Yamato's Thunder Bagua attack, with little to no injury despite her brother's concerns. Moreover, she wields a spiked morning star shaped club which she used to clash against Yamato's Kanabo. Though admittedly, Yamato was fending her off without using his full attention, Nevertheless, in her full beast form, Ulti was even able to immobilize Luffy by grabbing onto his shoulders. And the unique features of the Pachycephalosaurus is part of Ulti's fighting style, such as her use of her extremely hardened skull, which she uses to headbutt her opponents. Her headbutt overpowers opponents even against Luffy, and though the Straw Hat Captain suffered little damage, the same can't be said with his weaker crewmates such as Nami and Usopp who received considerable damage with the latter even having his skull cracked. Furthermore, unlike her brother, Ulti was shown to possess both armament and observation haki, using both to her advantage such as the former to reinforce her headbutts and observation haki to gauge the strength of her opponents. In fact, her strength has been so far so impressive with even Luffy commenting that he would have to resort to Gear 4 in order to swiftly take her down. So much so that I would even place her higher in terms of strength if it wasn't for the fact that her current opponents seem to be Nami and Usopp, whom of course are the weaker members of the Straw Hat crew, suggesting Ulti's own level of strength. However, this matchup is not set in stone and we might find out that she is indeed stronger than what we have seen so far. But based on the current opponents, I would then place Black Maria next on the list. In terms of current opponents, Black Maria has currently captured Sanji, but as you may know already if you have been following my chapter reviews, I don't seriously think that she will be Sanji's matchup. Rather, I think Robin or Brook will take his place, and if I am right, Black Maria versing either Robin or Brook seems like an apt placement for her as next in line in terms of strength out of the Tobiropo. Which like I said is why I placed her above Ulti, as both Robin and Brook are portrayed to be the stronger fighters in comparison to Nami and Usopp. Aside from this, Black Maria also seems that she may have been captain of her own crew. We know that some of the Tobiropo were captains of their own pirate crews, and based on chapter 998 where we see her Jolly Roger, it seems like Black Maria is one of them. This unconfirmed fact is also why I would rank her slightly higher, though we haven't actually seen much of her fighting abilities in comparison to the younger siblings. What we do know, however, is that she has the ancient Zoan Kumo Kumo no Mi, model Rosamigail Gravagelli. And following this, it's safe to assume that her fighting style resembles that of a spider. This is indeed seen through her use of webs to capture Sanji, one of the stronger combatants within the crew, suggesting that whilst we may not know much of her fighting per se, she has impressive stealth and subdued tactics that can be of assistance. Furthermore, her devil fruit may offer some clues as to her strengths and powers, in that the Rosamigail Gravagelli is a carnivorous and fossorial spider, meaning that rather than actively hunting its prey, the spider would wait inside its silk-lined burrow until a creature walked along its silk, 
snatching the prey into the burrow to eat it. And aside from preying on small invertebrates, the Rosamagel is a species of bird-eating megalomorph spiders, which is why I'm led to believe Robin will end up being Black Maria's opponent, taking into consideration Oda's tendency to name female One Piece characters after birds, and Robin being the only female to follow such a naming trait within the Straw Hats. With that being said, in comparison to Ulti or even Page 1, we haven't actually seen much of Black Maria's fighting. But if these speculations are correct, a former captain with stealth tactics advanced enough to trap Sanji who has impressive observation haki of his own, and possibly set up to fight off against Robin, Black Maria would be well placed after the siblings in the next strongest of the Topiropo. Next up, we have Sasaki. Sasaki is placed next on the list as one of the strongest members of the Topiropo, and this has been suggested in a number of ways, though we haven't actually seen much of him fighting yet. For one, Sasaki was the captain of his own crew prior to joining the Beast Pirates, and since joining, he is leading his own division within Kaido's crew, known as the Armored Division. And they are a proficient group, seemingly excelling in defense. This defensive ability is fitting for Sasaki, who holds the Triceratops model of the Ryuryu no Mi. And this devil fruit can be suggestive of Sasaki's strength and combat style. Such as the fact that the Triceratops are herbivores, suggesting that they are somewhat less aggressive or predatory in nature. However, their physical makeup provide them with very proficient defensive skills. Estimated to grow up to 9 meters long and weighing up to 12,000 kilograms, they were extremely large animals. Furthermore, the Triceratops horns and frills were used mainly for defense in fights against each other as well as against its predators, even able to fend off the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Whether Oda will stick to this prehistoric fighting style is another question because it seems Sasaki is being set up against Frankie. In which case, would Zoen from Sasaki be sticking to his defense tactics, much like the ancient real-life Triceratops, or will he be on the attack, using his horns and frills to penetrate Iron Plate General Frankie? This should prove to be a very interesting match to see whether Sasaki's horns will be strong enough to pierce through General Frankie's Wapo metal plates, which we know to be very strong material. An argument could even be made that Robin is actually a stronger combat fighter than Frankie in some ways, meaning that if we were to solely rank the Topiropo based on their teased straw hat opponents, Black Maria may even trump Sasaki. However, I would say that the Robin versus Frankie argument is quite unclear, and nevertheless, overall, Sasaki has been portrayed to be stronger than Black Maria. I mean, Sasaki does seem to be indeed very strong. Aside from leading a specialized division within the Beast Pirates, he seems to have a somewhat close relationship to Kaido. As seen when he dismisses everyone else, noting to the Yonko that he is the only one that Sasaki is interested in sharing a drink with at the Fire Festival. Moreover, he seems confident in his own strength and ability, dismissing some of his other fellow Tobiropo such as Page One and calling the youngest Tobiropo and his sister Ulti, brats. When faced with the threat of having to fight Sasaki, we saw Yamato starting to transform, and although this match was interrupted, Yamato having never transformed in other skirmishes such as against Ulti, his need to rely on another form, although we don't know what this form is yet, this suggests the comparative level of Sasaki's strength. We should however mention that Sasaki was somewhat easily duped by Tanjiro, resulting in the Tobiropo being downed up. And this may not necessarily signify Sasaki's physical strength, I mean Sasaki was unaware of Denjiro's double nature after all, so the scabber did have the element of surprise on his side. But nevertheless, it doesn't seem like Oda is setting Sasaki up as the strongest of the Tobiropo, although he is pretty close. Now, I'm only discussing the current Tobiropo members in this video, meaning that Drake as a double agent now having turned to join Luffy's alliance doesn't count as one of the Tobiropo, but if we were to count him, I would probably place him in second place. I mean, he was the former rear admiral after all, now the captain of a special secret unit sword, and was also the captain of his own crew. I would even consider placing him number one, but seeing as he isn't being considered in this discussion, the number one spot goes to who's who. Who's who was also captain of his own crew prior to joining the Beast Pirates. And much like Sasaki, 
Since joining, it seems he has retained his leadership over a certain group or division, as he and his feline-themed subordinates seem to be based in the Neko Cafe on the fourth floor of the Onigashima Castle. Speaking of feline theme, Who's Who has the Neko Neko no Mi model saber-toothed tiger. This ferocious prehistoric beast being very indicative of Who's Who's strength and ability. The saber-toothed tiger were carnivorous creatures unknown to have any natural predators aside from possibly humans. With large, bulky frames, long sharp teeth and strong arms, these ancient beasts were able to prey on other megafauna such as bisons and even woolly mammoths. Unlike the modern tiger, the saber-toothed tigers did not dispense of their prey quickly. Instead, they would use their teeth to slice and rip through their prey's stomachs or throats, likely causing a slow and painful death. However, they are thought to have shared the modern tiger's stalk and pounce style of hunting. And these facts about the prehistoric creature could be illustrative of who's who. For one, the stalk and pounce tactics can be seen in his strategic ambush of Drake. Who's Who took his time to trick Drake, and even more impressively, he worked with Queen in order to do so. Considering the seeming animosity between Who's Who and the All-Star, their working together suggests that Who's Who is level-headed enough to work towards the best outcome, a trait that is very advantageous in battle. And speaking of Queen, Who's Who also dedicated himself to the challenge of becoming the next All-Star. Believing in his strength, he even voiced his contemplation of Queen's death, showing his lack of fear of the All-Star and also implying his level of strength. So it is fitting that the seeming matchup for Who's Who is the Straw Hat's newest member, Jinbei. As a former pirate captain and warlord of the sea, Jinbei is arguably one of the strongest members within the Straw Hats. And with Oda seemingly setting up the two against each other, Who's Who is being portrayed to be the strongest out of the Tobiropo, despite the fact we haven't actually witnessed him fighting yet. But based on what we know, as well as the real-life characteristics of the saber-toothed tiger, Who's Who may be a vicious killer. Interestingly, Who's Who carries a katana, suggesting that Who's Who is also a swordsman and may use this skill in conjunction with his Zoan beast instincts to shred apart his foes. And the jokes of seeing Jinbei as shark sashimi springs to mind. But on that horrifying or comedic note, however you wish to see it, this brings us to the end of today's discussion. Please let me know what you think about the Tobi Ropo by leaving a comment below. Please also like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. This is Joy Girl, and I'll see you again soon.